you've almost made it through the seventh week, friends. Maybe you're finding, as I am, that my daily routines are a bit more infused with the presence of God, with the scriptures, with the presence of Jesus through the Holy Spirit. This is the gift of life in the Spirit. I hope that it's beginning to bubble up for you too. Let's see what Jesus says to us today in the Sermon on the Plain, Luke 6, verses 22 to 23. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, revile you, and defame you on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice on that day and leap for joy, for surely your reward is great in heaven, for that's what their ancestors did to the prophets. We mentioned echoes of the Old Testament prophets yesterday. Here they are again. Whatever Jesus is talking about is what happened to those prophets too. This sounds so much like what we heard in Matthew's gospel. Truly hitching your wagon to Jesus and not just the popular image of Jesus is going to bring some negative consequences. Why is that? Well, the way of Jesus threatens the stability of the status quo of our culture. It did in Jesus' time, and it still does today. We preachers have tried to make it more palatable and easier to take, and we've done a disservice. In Jesus, God calls us to a life of giving and serving and love, which comes from an endless well of God's goodness. The world doesn't know what to do with that. Everything the world has to offer is finite and capitalized and comes at a price that somebody has to pay. When you come at all that with God's gift, when you come with God's gift into all that, people notice and they just might choose to leave the way of the world and embrace the way of Jesus. That threatens things. It scares people and scared people can get mean. Jesus says, rejoice. Leap for joy. That's how you know you're on the right track. Let's pray together. O oh God of life and love, today I choose to follow your son Jesus. Inspire me to faithful action, intention, reflection, and deeper awareness by your Holy Spirit which lives within me. Help me to follow Jesus in his steps of grace, goodness, and love which expects nothing in return. Today, I offer you all that I am and hope to be, trusting you to believe the best about me until it becomes true. Help me to do the same with all those whom I encounter this day. In the name of Jesus, amen.